So can you tell about a time that you had any sort of major setback or big obstacle that made you question like, oh my gosh, should I even be doing this? Okay. Um, I guess a couple that probably were sort of intertwined, one external, one kind of internal, but in 2013, we got this space got broken into three times in the course of a month. Oh God. We didn't have a security system. We now do, it works very well. Everyone should know that. <laughs> and uh, so the first time I was like, well, oh, damn, that's weird. Like, you know, they stole a little bit and I was just like, this is, it was a very odd feeling, you know, knowing that yeah. someone had kicked the door in and been rummaging through my stuff. Um, so they did it a second time and I was like, and I, you know, wasn't able in the in the time between it was so short you know we didn't have the thing installed yet and then the third time the last person leaving just didn't set it the alarm properly so the third time was like all right you know i know how to do this let me call the detective up i uh, had the door guy still you know in my phone hey wayne it's paul like can you come out the doors broke again yeah i'd see ya. and i'm sitting there i'm like yeah like I can handle that. It's all good. And I was like, kind of trying to tell myself, like, yeah, it's all good. I can handle. But there was, you know, I was, I was denying, like, just some feeling inside. I was like, no, nah, like, Paul, like, it's not all right. Like this, like this sucks. It's not like a good thing. And I was just mm -hmm. kind of sitting there, I was like, you know, kind of questioning, like, what's the point of doing anything? It's just kind of like, cra like these, just not negative emotions, but just like, really, just kind of, I don't know, something it was like, you know, why do anything? Someone can just break in any time and just smash everything which they didn't again thank god but right. you know it was just more like the violation of, of of the space you know well anything that can be created if we're making a business you know so it can be taken away it can be destroyed so it's like why do anything and it was one of those where i just had that moment it was like all right well maybe you know if i'm doing something in a certain way where what's the best way to say it i don't know serving others but also like without being too selfish, also like building myself up, you know, improving, learning new skills, reading, educating, you know, that's, there's something inside of me that can't be taken. So if I'm always, if I'm taking care of myself, you know, then everything can be stripped away and I'm going to still be fine. So that was Whoa. a good moment. Um, <laughs> that's of, major. Of, yeah, it was, cause it was like one of those and I was sitting on the curb right there, just like, all right, yeah, it's good. And then I'm like, Oh God, like, it's not good. Like, you know, just cause like the first couple of times it's like, you know, trying to act all tough and macho. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I can, you know, the things happen all the time, but if you don't confront it, you know, cause it's really, I was just trying to hide from the reality of it. Mm -hmm. And no, you know, no event is, is like so, so, so major, but when you're denying it, when you're not accepting it, that's what's going to mess you up. And, and I didn't know that until that, that happened. happened. And I think it was, you know, not too long after that where, I was still working a ton, working, you know, weeks and weeks without a day off, just physically tired, mentally drained, wasn't eating good because I'm making pops and eating a lot of sugar and often skipping lunch. Meals. Yeah, and probably not eating nearly enough, which is usually not my problem at all. But when you're eating a ton of sugar, it's just not healthy and it kind of kills your appetite. So I remember going, you know, I was going to meet up with a friend and I were out and then there was some other kind of, it was like a group where it was like some people I didn't know and they're like, okay, yeah, so what do you do? I was just like, I don't want to talk about King of Pops. I don't want to talk about business at all. I hate this. Why am I doing this? But I'm, instead I, you know, went through the motions, you know, put a smile. I'm like, yeah, you know, I don't know if you heard of King of Pops. Oh yeah, yeah. And I'm like, you know, but in that moment, you know, I was trying to be nice and polite because I didn't want to like take out my frustration because, you know, why, you know, why be mean to them or be rude right. when they're just asking me a simple question. But I was like, but I remember after that, I got it kind of got out of that conversation as quick as I can. Just kind of like <laughs> went and like sat by myself. I was just like, man, I was like, no amount of money is worth how much I'm working with worth me feeling this way is nor worth all the stuff that I had been missing out on, mm -hmm. whether it's, you know, family dinners or trips or vacations. And not to say that's the end all, but it was more just this is my one night this entire the past three four weeks that i've socialized with anybody other than my my staff and i'm hating it like you know so it was one of those where i knew like you were headed it, for burnout yeah i totally was and and just know that like <laughs> I, it's it's very real 
so many business owners go there. Yeah, and it's like, and that's where it's like, if you're not, if you're in it for money, that's where you're gonna be like, screw this, this isn't paying me and I'm out. Mm -hmm. If you're in it for other reasons, it, it, you know, more, I guess, other, connected to your actual exactly you're like you know what let me get through this and then that's where you're like you know but something's got to change like mm -hmm. i can't be working but let's fix this right. but it's it would be much easier to just like throw your hands up like i'm out right. um if it's just about the, the payday dollar, dollar yeah bills. yeah yeah i think it from my own experience i could make way more money if i just got a job yeah. Oftentimes, especially in the beginning, yeah. you could make way more money if you just had a job, but you have to be able to see the future possibilities of what you'll be able to create and you have to put in the support to get you there because, right, if you burn out before you get there, it doesn't matter Yeah, because <laughs> you're so miserable that you can't enjoy it yeah. once it's rolling and that's no fun for anybody. No. So I think it's really cool how you're able to, like, in those moments, like, pull out something really important. Like mm -hmm. in that moment of being frustrated that your place kept getting breaking into, recognize like what is what are you really upset about? And it's the materialistic piece of the business, not the actual mm -hmm. emotions. And you know, I, your slogan of creating what is it? Creating unexpected moments unexpected of happiness. Unexpected moments of happiness. Yeah, no one can steal that. Yeah. Like after it happens, it happened mm -hmm. forever. Yeah. And that's pretty amazing. So Paul, I know that we're getting ready to start your season back up which is very exciting, but this will not be it for you. What do you think is your next step, your next phase of your business or just you personally? That's a great question. For the business, I think just, you know, we tried a lot of stuff and we've done a lot of cool stuff, but it's, it's almost like I'm doing more with less. So instead of trying to be at every event or do everything I can, focus on what, you know, what is getting the most return or, or doing the, the core things as best we possibly can. So kind of going back to making like, you know, we, and I'll admit this, I think last year we were making some awesome pops. They were all amazing. We weren't making quite as many new ones. Mm. And that's, I feel like this, this winter I was thinking about, I was like, you know, that's what still people want that because keeping up with the growth it's like all right if we already have like our 10 to 12 flavors that we know people love and we're on a deadline we've got to have these out well you know that's where oh these two new flavors oh that gets pushed till next week and then till next week we made some awesome new things which which i was really happy about but i think focusing on that core product again like even more so than we always have mm. you know we've we've never strayed from using all our fresh fruit using homestead creamery milk, you know, doing things, you know, the king of pops way to make them. But I really wish, you know, we're going to get back to making like cool, crazy, delicious flavors again, like much more frequently than yeah. instead of like maybe one or two a month, like, you know, maybe one or two a week. So that's, and that is for the business, this, and this space itself, where one, this would be more of a, a place that people can come to, you know, more and more people were coming last year. And just, you know, kind of up in the offerings, uh, you know, doing like chocolate dip and caramel drizzle on your pop and sprinkles mm. and just all kind of fun stuff. And, you know, we're making homemade limeades and and seeing how to make this as cool of a, of a destination kind of dessert shop that that just hasn't been seen. And kind of, again, going within our own within our own I get, Yeah, we're not we're That's not making business term. It's it's so businessy. We're not making. <laughs> smoothies or donuts or cakes anytime soon right. and not gonna there's a lot of great people in richmond doing that so yeah do what you do best yeah and even better so that's I like that so that's for here what about for you for me personally uh i think health and fitness one i'm i used to just eat out all the time and mm. rarely exercise and just knowing how, how important that is and wanting to stay in shape so i'm back at the gym and you know all the years of eating a billion popsicles and sugar is mm. coming back to bite me. So, you know, wonderful. It's, it's taken me a while to realize like exactly how important that is. I used to, you know, play sports in high school and never crossed my mind because it was just a daily part of my routine. Right. And, you know, after years of deprioritizing it, knowing how much better you feel, how much more you can get done, your energy levels go up, just all the good reasons to do it. So it, it's no news to a lot of folks, but to me, it's like, all right, let's, let's get on that. 
So yeah. on that on that side, making it a priority and getting up and doing that, and then you know continuing to read, continuing to try to get better at you know marketing, management, leadership, all that. I don't think I'll I'll ever stop doing that because to me the journey is is better than the destination, and that's just you know never being satisfied. But I'm content with where I'm at. But it's again one of those paradoxical things. I'm happy with who I am, where I'm at, but I know well. Let's how can I improve it? And to me, it's fun. That's a it's a fun game that I'm playing, and I'm just trying to be great at this game of of business and life. I love it. Do you have any advice for a person that's either just starting or thinking about starting a business? What's your like word of wisdom to those crazy people? Uh, for the people thinking about it, I don't even know if I have much. Like, <laughs> in some ways, be like, I don't know, just don't. Ah! Or, <laughs> not, you know, or just like, you, you have to jump into it yeah. feet first in the deep end. It's a cliff situation. You can, yeah, it's not like, let me dip my toes into the cold pool water. Like, you're going to jump in and it's going to get real, real fast. For people who are starting, I think, you know, whatever stuff that I said earlier about, you're going to get all kinds of advice and none of it's going to be incorrect, but it could be wrong for you at the time. And the hardest thing is knowing what's right for your situation and for your timing. Mm. And so, but the, the only way that you can really discern that is, and, and I went through this myself, I used to always ask for help, like, oh, let me talk to people smarter than me or more experienced than me mm -hmm. and get their advice. And that's gonna be, you know, that's good advice to say, take advice from more experienced people. But until you start being like, you know what, I'm gonna just trust my decision and go through with it. A lot of times you're gonna be wrong, but yeah. that's gonna give you that intuition of knowing what's right, what's wrong. And then so when you're getting advice in the future, you can say, I like the three things you said, but the one thing you said, I've already considered that doesn't apply to me. And that's where I found my greatest areas of growth is when, and it, cause it's scary to have to trust yourself. Cause again, if, if someone were giving me something and I would do it, I'm like, you know what, that didn't work. Bob that over there, that guy she gave me bad advice. Talking about. You know, if you're mm -hmm. blaming someone else, you're not growing. And so mm -hmm. if you're in a spot where I made that decision and I was unbelievably wrong and that was, it's never going to be a disaster, but maybe in that moment, a disaster, you're going to come away with that with new piece of knowledge and even better, an intuitive, I guess, uh, confidence, exactly, of knowing how to guide, you know, yourself through millions of decisions and scenarios that might face. And it's like, no, I know you have a clear vision, basically, but you have to kind of go through those failures. And again, if, if you're not completely trusting yourself and you're blaming others, you're not going to learn it and you're never going to. It's going to kind of stunt your growth as, as being. Totally agree. Yeah. I love it. Well, Paul, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thank you and for coming out. I am so excited for the pop season starting soon. It's getting going. Yes. We're ready.